There are threats everywhere. There's death everywhere. No! Y'all need to see this. We have one goal. Survival. Hey, what's going on, YouTubers all over the world? It's your boy, Testify to the Music, a.k.a. Mikey Savage 21, bringing you another movie review. And today, we're going to be reviewing the film, The Purge, Election Year. Now, I just saw this film last night, and I let me just kind of set the picture for you. This theater was jam-packed out. I mean, the theater was so packed out that my buddy and myself, we had to sit on the bottom row. That's how packed out it was. There were barely any open seats up top or on the bottom floor. And the one thing that I noticed while the film was going on is that we as a society love violence too much, I think. Uh, because there were people cheering when people died. Uh, there are certain things, you know, that kind of makes me believe that we as a society might like violence too much. But that's just me. But so getting into what I thought about the film... I enjoyed it. I really liked it. I like how they upped the ante and it had more action in it. This time, I've actually seen all of the Purge films. The first one, you know, with Ethan Hawke, it focused more so on his family and how they had to survive the Purge. And then the second one introduced Frank Grillo's character. And the director takes us on his journey of how he's trying to seek out justice for his son because his son was unfairly killed in a car accident a few years prior. And so then it took us to the actual streets of what's going on. And so throughout the film, we get to see Frank Grillo develop into this badass character that doesn't take crap from anybody. And we actually get to see him on these streets doing the actual purge. And then this time it took us to the streets once again, but we got to see the Annie up a little bit. Some of the negatives here, uh, I felt like the actors, some of them were overacting. Again, I'm not going to give away too much, but it felt like the act that some of the actors were overacting, especially some of the people that were partaking in the purge, especially, you know, and at times where it just kind of seemed like, okay, really, you're really going to go there, okay? Another negative here that I actually have to bring up is the excessive cursing in here. I felt like they were just cursing just for the sake of cursing because this was already a gritty action rated R film. So I felt like the director felt like, oh, well, hey, since we're already going to have to go there, just let's throw in lots of random curse words. And, and it just kind of took me out a little bit how they were misused and everything, especially, again, with characters who were partaking in the annual purge. Uh, but Frank Grillo's character, I got to say, was a definite asset. And then at the same time, you have Senator Charlie Roan, who's played by Elizabeth Mitchell. She's also a true asset here. And going into this film, I figured they were just going to be the main centerpieces for this film, which they were, but I had no idea that we were going to introduce other secondary characters that we were going to really care about. And so when we get them all together in this one big group and some of them start to die, you, you just really get attached to these characters and you it just makes you really just be like, wow, really? You know, and so when bad things start happening to them on Purge Night, it just makes you care about the characters all the more. And so that's exactly what a film should do with its characters. It should make you care about them. Uh, a lot of times you fall into these horror tropes where you have teenagers or a group of people that you really don't like. So when they start dying, you really don't care that they're dying because you don't care about any of the characters. But getting into my score, I'm going to have to honestly give this a, a 3.5 out of 5. Uh, like I said, the overacting really just kind of got on my nerves a little bit, and it was blatantly obvious in certain scenes that certain people partaking in the purge were taking it a little too far, and it was, I don't know if this was, you know, on the director or whatnot, um, but, or this could have been on the actors themselves, or it could have been just in the script, but here it just felt like they were too overacting, and it was mainly just like a couple of scenes, but still it was enough to kind of take away from the film. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up my review. Again, overall, I definitely enjoy the film, and I definitely recommend you go check it out. If you like the second Purge, then you'll definitely like this. Again, they up the ante with action. The plot and the characters are more set up and developed here in this film than in the first one. And then again here, you have characters that you actually care about. In the second one, you care about the characters, but not as much so as the characters here. 
they're fleshed out more. We get more on some of the characters' backstories and what they're going through. And so when you see them start to get picked off, you know, as the, the series of events go on throughout the night, you actually really care about these characters and hate to see them go in the way that they do. But I tell you what, though, this film had a lot of layers to it and had a lot to offer. And it really made me hungry for a Snickers bar. And for those who have seen the film this weekend or are watching this on the replay, you know exactly where I'm going with that reference. So again, I give this film a 3.5 out of 5. You know, again, the overacting is just what kind of took me out of the film. But what did you think of The Purge election year? Have you seen it yet? Do you plan to check it out? Let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, please smash that like button. It helps out the channel immensely. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on all the latest movie reviews. I usually see at least about three to four films a week, so you get at least three to four film reviews from me a week. So subscribe and keep on coming back and check these reviews out. I really appreciate it. But, hey guys, I hope you all have a great, safe 4th of July weekend. I hope you all have a blessed 4th of July. Remember what the 4th of July is all about. Again, it's not necessarily about hanging out with family and friends and barbecuing. It's, about, it's a day of reflection where we can reflect and honor those who have served or are still serving for our great country so that we can have the freedoms and customs that we have today. Remember, if you see a veteran, tell them thank you. If you see someone who's currently in the military, salute them, tell them thank you for what they do because again, they're essentially putting their own lives on the line so we can have the freedoms that we have today. I'm testified to the music, AKA Mikey Savage 21 saying, peace out.